I'm going to show you one way of filling out the experimental design form in order to run an experiment with the greenhouse gas base model and the albedo slider. By now you should have tried filling this out on your own, so this is just another way of filling it out. There are many different types of experiments you could run, so remember that this is just one example. So the experimental design form, we'd start off with our question. Perhaps I want to know if changing the albedo will change the temperature of the world. So that will be my question. You need to identify the dependent and independent variables in your experiment so you know which variables you will be changing and which ones will stay constant. The dependent variable in this case is going to be the amount of solar radiation coming from the sun and the independent variables will be time and the albedo. So the amount of solar radiation will remain constant while time and albedo will change. Then what about the range? Think about the range of values you will use for each variable. We will run time from 0 to 500 ticks. That means that we're going to run the model until 500 ticks have gone by, or the clock reads about 500. We'll have three different settings for albedo, 60, 10, and 90. That means that we're going to run this for 500 ticks for an albedo of 60, for 500 ticks for an albedo of 10, and for 500 ticks for an albedo of 90. Another important question is how many trials you'll run at each setting. A trial is running through something once and then having multiple trials means doing the exact same thing multiple times. The reason to do this is to make sure our results are repeatable and not just a result of randomness. Since there is randomness in our model, it's very important that we run multiple trials. I've said that we're going to run five trials at each setting. So we'll run five trials at an albedo of 60, five at an albedo of 10, and five at an albedo of 90. That's going to be 15 times that this model will run through, each of them for 500 ticks. What data will you collect? We are going to collect temperature data. We will collect the temperature of each trial at each setting after each run. And by temperature, we mean the number of heat agents in our model. And how are you going to analyze that data? Well, you're going to put it in the table. We're going to get the average for each setting across the five trials. That should hopefully take into account some of the randomness. And then we will compare the three averages and see if the final temperatures were different. How does the analysis of your data help you answer your question? If the temperature is higher or lower with different albedos, then we can say that the albedo affected the temperature. Prediction. What is your prediction and why? My prediction will be that when the albedo is higher, more solar radiation will become reflected energy instead of heat, and the temperature of the world will be lower. So there you go. That's one example of how to run an experiment and how to fill out the experimental design form. This is a very useful tool for helping us focus our questions and making sure we run a very complete and comprehensive experiment.